Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? This is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist, and coming here every week on Facebook Live, and I've been doing this for the last uh, seven years. Uh, second week in April will be seven years, and I truly feel humbled and privileged to be present every week and have people like you who truly touch my heart and say, thank you, I learned so much from you. I hear you, uh, even when I am not live, I go back and listen. So just a few days ago, I was at an event. It was a kids event, Zahkasar Kids Festival here in Glendale. And you know what? One of the most beautiful parts was that uh, I was shared, and they shared with me, I see you, I know who you are, and keep doing it because you are making a difference. Um, so the messages that we hear, the messages that we incorporate, the messages that I share, um, is some are truly from my heart. I speak from my heart and, um, I get information. I interview folks and I know that, it may not be for everybody, but the work that I do as a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, is truly to bring not only information, inspiration, but also some fun and enjoyment um, in your daily life. So today, I want to talk about something. And as you know, I work on self confidence and self-esteem, uh, work very much with anxiety, uh, folks who come to me with anxiety and insomnia, but more importantly, it is the weight, uh, the weight that we hold on to, the weight that we pack on, the weight that it is placed upon us, that it's not something that you see and that you recognize. I work with emotional weight. And the burdens that we carry from a long time ago. So allow me to give you an example. A client of mine yesterday, we're working uh, via Zoom. And yes, I do Zoom sessions as well. So as we're talking and getting to another layer after the second session is like all the things that she heard as a child. Um, we're not talking about trauma, but it's traumatic to her. So there is a difference. What is traumatic to us and what is trauma itself? And things can be trauma. That's the experience. But traumatic is what we incorporate internally. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what was in, uh, traumatic to her was this the things people said, how she was bullied and ridiculed and made fun of as a kid being overweight. And in her family, there was not many people, even adults or even cousins that are overweight, but she was. And she felt this sense of, I'm not good enough. Maybe I don't belong because she had a sister. And it was like her mom and her grandma would say, you can eat anything you want because she was very thin. And to her, it was like, stop eating. You can't do this. You can't have that. She can have it. You can't. So she in, inside herself, what she believed was, I'm not good enough. I'm not loved as she is. And so she started packing more and eating more. 
Why? Because food, you know this, e food is a comforting thing. What is your comfort thing? Is food one of the things that becomes your comfort? Is food a traditional now? We have Easter coming, spring is here. The kids are all on uh, spring break. So what is it that we are doing? We're breaking bread with families. Traditions coming. We are doing a lot of things that is traditional and a lot of cookies and cakes and baking, right? So all this can also create stress for some children. And working with kids in weight, this is what happens. She's grown up to be 37 years old. Now she's overweight resents herself and she just can't let it go. I talk about secrets we keep. I have talked about the burdens we keep, but her thing is I am so resentful of how they ridiculed me, how I was bullied. And just because I was mm. fat and not only because I was fat, I loved food and food was my comfort zone. So she shared that every time she wanted to find this place, she would go and steal food from the refrigerator, go and hide in the garage and eat. So she feels good. Okay. It gave her a sense of comfort. She, it's like medicating herself as a child, seven years old. As adults, we medicate ourselves in different ways. Food, true, can be cigarettes, can be um, alcohol, can be drugs. It can be so many ways that something that it became a habitual turned into a daily part of our behavior, and then it continued to be part of who we are. So all these years, she has resented herself. Through our work, she's come to peel away and understand it was not about her, you know? I've said this so many times. Why can't you see me beyond my body? Why can't you see me beyond my accent? And I know I used to have this chip over my shoulder. Listen to the words. Chip over my shoulder that before even anyone spoke, I would think they're going to judge me and criticize me because of my accent. Now, shifted, hers has become, I know the moment I walk in, they're looking at my body and saying how fat I am. And they're not seeing me. So through our work, she's come to see herself, not her body. And I don't know how this can be translated to what you are going through. Because who you are is not your body, is not your behavior, it's not your habits. The spirit of who you are is accumulation of all that. And yet it is not who you are. You know, I was listening to Wayne Dyer um, a few weeks ago. I listen to podcasts all the time. And this message that he was sharing resonated with me. And it said, when we die and we're laying in bed, if they weigh that body, right? Anyone, it doesn't matter. It's we, you, me, he, she, it doesn't matter. When the person is dying at that very moment, if they weigh that, that to the ounce, 
okay, let's say is 164 pounds and seven ounces. The moment the person is gone, the, the heart stops beating and the body goes cold and the spirit that leaves the body at that very moment, if they weigh the body, it will weigh the same. Which in turn, it means who we are is inside this body, is part of this body. The body houses us, shields us, and protects us. Who we are is not the body. And yet we function with the body. We can't do without it, right? We need the heart that pumps oxygenated blood. We need to think. And even the Bible Easter is here, think it and it shall be, right? So every thought is creating the way we think, the way we become. But is it true? Is it? Having a big body and thinking that someone is not seeing her, we shift it. And I said, and how do you see yourself? It's not so much important as others, but how we see ourselves, what we do, how we speak, how kind we are with the person inside this body. And if we are ridiculing, if we are uh, self-sabotaging, self-hurting, self-criticizing, and keeping all the resentments, we're keeping it. The other people from childhood have gone, right? Parents, they said something. So this repetition of what we think, what you think is yours. You want to make a change from the outside? We start with it. The name of my company is Heal With It. Why? Because that's exactly what I did. When 25 years ago, as a legal assistant, I was uh, working in the law firm. When I went to the uh, doctor and my gynecologist told me, I have another ovarian cyst and it's grown. And this was the third one. And before it grows to be the 9.2 or 8.7 centimeters, uh, he already scheduled to have a surgery. You know, had I not come back to the law firm, had I not shared this information with the HR director, she would not have sent me to the chiropractor, I mean, for the acupuncturist. And on the second session, the acupuncturist would not have shared this information that hypnotherapy can heal with ovarian cysts. Now, 25 years later, practicing only this exact same thing. And because I healed within, I realized what it is that I am holding on to, the resentments and shame and guilt, right? And it affected my uh, sexual organs because of it was direct correlation to relationship. And I'm not saying everything is, mine was. So heal within starts from healing within. When I work with you, we come to understand, peel away, what is it that you are keeping? The emotional connections to your body. Because you have grown up, hopefully, so you can stand up for yourself. Those kids are no longer, hopefully, uh, the bullies. Either they have grown up and they're no longer bullies, or if they continued, hopefully they're not in your social or community or your friends. Hopefully you're not keeping the bullies as friends or both of you have evolved, right? We can't get uh, let go of family, but it is how we feel. And when you come to heal inside, and realize you're no longer that kid. Your hands 
are not that little hands. Your body is not that little body or the big body as a child. You have grown up, expanded, developed, blossomed. And if your internal dialogue, the words are still of that child, then that's what we work with. So you become kinder to the kid within you, not them. And when you start loving you and see you beyond your body, which is her or him, and you say, I see you for who you are, because you are me. This is powerful. This is deep work. And if you can stand in front of the mirror, maybe for the first time, look yourself in the mirror and say, I do see you. And from this day forward, I promise to be kinder and more loving towards you. And you blink or you do this, or you can even hug yourself. This is one of the most powerful ways that you can hug yourself. Because when you see yourself in the mirror, you see you. The emotional burdens, resentments, the guilt, the shame. The moment you recognize you, honor you, respect you, see you, then everything that you hold and you keep to protect you can start melting away. Sometimes, you may need a coach. Sometimes you may need to delve deeper into other realms of holding on to behaviors and habits. And that's why I'm here. And it would be my honor to guide you, hold your hand, hold space for you, no matter what it is. In order for you to reach your desired goal. And that's why... My 3E method, the 3E Bubari method was developed and has been uh, trademarked. It is because we evoke what was so that we can embrace who we are, the here, the present, the reality, and evolve to all your desired goals. And that is the 3E. That's what we stand up for because you matter. Bottom line, you matter. This is it's right here on my wrist that I never take off and I do sell it. It's on my website. You can go to my website, healwithin.com and go to the store, go to the shop and you will find the bracelet. And uh, I'm doing an explanation about this, but when you have this, it will always be a reminder. If I evoke, embrace, evolve. And when you turn it around, is because I matter. If no one else says it to you, anchor yourself with this. Gift yourself or the ones that you care for and love. Get one of those and gift it to them. I have it in gold. I have it in silver. And you say, you matter to me. And I want you to remember you matter. So they see I matter. Having Easter coming, it's a lot of traditions, it's joy, it's breaking bread, it's doing the eggs, coloring eggs. And I know sometimes, no matter how joyous it is, sometimes it can be stressful with family. And with that, I want you to know, heal within. So as you do, the energy that flows, energy that transmutes, energy that you give, they will see that you have healed and they can't 
You know, when an elevator is out of order, no matter how many times you push that button, it's out of order. It's not going to turn red. It's not going to light up and it's not going to trigger you. I hope today's message was beneficial to you. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, make a comment. Hi, everyone. And uh, by all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Lisa Bubari. And until next week, I want to say God bless you. May the universal light surround you. Next week, I have a special guest. And uh, you're going to see some changes happening, which is absolutely amazing. And until then, I bid you goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for all of you for being present and supporting our channel. Bye. What do I okay? Okay. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.